Hi guys, it's Sam here today to bring you a video about the Hermes Oren sandals. So let's dive in and kind of let me tell you everything you need to know before you buy these sandals, which spoiler alert, I definitely recommend. So first things first, let me start with the price and then I kind of did want to show you a little bit of a comparison between the old sandals and the new sandals, which yes, there are like a, two different styles. So first off, when you're buying them from Hermes, you are going to get them in this orange box, which is the classic Hermes orange box. They will then come with a dust bag, looks like this, for each sandal. So you should be getting two dust bags if you're buying them directly from Hermes. You can buy them online, they are often online. Uh, but again, your whatever you purchase online is not linked to your in-store account, so your SA does not see that. Uh, so if you do have an SA, I say text them and see if they can get your size, which normally they can. Sometimes if it's a very popular like seasonal color, they might be a lot harder to get, um, but I haven't really had any problems with getting them. So first things first, this is the very, very classic Hermes Oron in gold. These retail for $630. They are more if you are getting a different type of skin, so these are calf skin, but if you are getting like a, an exotic, which they do make, they are going to be more than the 630 price tag. Like I said, these are the gold color. They do have a contrast stitching, and these, which I do have both of them right here, are the old style. So what you'll notice about the older style of the Hermes Oron is that the footbed is a different color than the rest of the sandals. So you'll see this is the actual gold. This is a lighter brown color. Also, this is gonna be harder to see because it is underneath the H, but you can kind of see it right there. There is right here a line of stitching, which does keep this part of the foot bed attached to the rest of the shoe. But I do know that this right here sometimes rubs people the wrong way, like on the bottom of their foot. I have not had an issue with it, but I am one of those people who I do not have to like really stretch these out or anything. They do kind of fit my foot perfectly as I do have a long, narrow feet, foot, I guess you should say there. But I love these. I have had these since spring of 2019 and I have worn them every single summer and spring to numerous events. Uh, this is, I have not had to have them resold yet. This is the bottom of them. They are dirty. I obviously wear them. Um, and I love that like while I am kind of clumsy and have nicked these like a little bit because this is not the leather and it is in fact the wood, you cannot really tell. And so I do love that. So that's the older style of Hermes Oron. Then you do have the newer style of Hermes Oron, which in my case is black. These are brand new. I have not yet worn them. These also in the black do have a bit of a contrast stitching, which I love but there are two things that are different about these sandals than the old ones. First is you do have more padding in the shoe. This shoe has a little bit of padding, but it's not nearly as fluffy. Uh, it might look fluffier because you can actually like see it more with the lighter brown, but it is not. And then two, which I think is a big thing for a lot of people, you no longer have that line of stitching right here. This is just one flat leather piece, which is nice if that stitching did bother you and that was a reason you did not buy them. Other than that, I find that these two sandals are very, very similar. Obviously they are different in size. I mean, size, they're the same in size. They're different color. Um, and I did get these both in a 41.5. So sizing information. I find that in general, the Hermes Oron run true to size, or I would say personally, I size up a half a size. For people who do have a bigger, wider foot, I would say to size of a full size. So for example, my true Hermes size, most of the time, there are other times when that's not true, is a 41. In the Hermes Oron, in both of these fit me great and they are a 41.5. These fit me literally perfectly, they are the right length and I do not have to stretch out the H at all. For people who do not have a slimmer narrow foot, uh, I know they normally do go up a full size and that is because they do want to stretch out the H part of the sandal because it is a little tight, but that part of the sandal will stretch. That is fully leather and it will stretch. So my biggest advice for almost every one I would say is go up half a size, but that's also because I do not like my heels hanging off the end of a shoe. And if you're okay with your heel being like right up against the end, you could likely go true to size. Again, if you have a wider foot, I would say go up a full size. That is my sizing advice. Everyone has different feet. In general, whenever I talk about shoes, I always say, if you can try them on, do. But I know that's not realistic for some people. What I will say 
So if you do see a color you like on the Hermes website and you're not trying to order through an SA, you can order two sizes and returns are very easy and they're free. So something to consider there if you are worried about what size you need is you could order two sizes. I do think, like I said, that they stretch a bit on the H part. They do not stretch anywhere else. Uh, and I do think they wear really, really well. As you can see, I've had these for many years and you like cannot, because, granted they are brown, but you cannot see like little toe inserts or anything. I think with the newer style, with the full leather in the white, you are definitely gonna see toe marks on the white, but it's a white sandal. So that is what it is and it's kind of there. I think that in general, the price point for these is very, very reasonable at 630, again, more if you're getting something in an exotic. But when I think of a very similar Chanel slide that is literally just a slide, not a pool slide, but like a slide sandal, those are at least $1,000. These are 630, they're Hermes. $1,000 Chanel, you don't know what's coming your way sort of thing. I also find Chanel to be much more trendy, why these Hermes Oron sandals have been around for a long time. I personally find them comfortable. They are a flatter shoe, so that might not be for everyone, but I find the comfort level is definitely there. I wear them all day, standing all day. I will wear them to, I have worn them after a, like, a wedding, like at the reception, after I've taken off my heels. I don't want to go around barefoot. I'll put them on, find them very comfortable. And I think one of the biggest things for shoes is people think shoes are very trendy. I do think these shoes are very classic and you can resole them because they are this leather sole. So this allows your shoes to last for longer. And I know some people like are, you know, don't want to get things resold or too like lazy to do it. But honestly, getting your shoes resold is like 20 to $50 and allows you to keep the shoes for way longer. So if they're a classic shoe, like why not? So I'm a big fan of getting them resold. Definitely doable because like I said, these are a leather sole. I would buy them again and again and again. Obviously I have two pairs. I have gone in more classic colors with the black and the gold. I think there's some beautiful like seasonal colors out there. I just haven't gone that route yet because I don't know if I want to spend $630 on a sandal I'm only going to occasionally wear because of the color. But if you love color, they have like Hermes does color like nobody's business. But that is my review of what you need to know before you buy these sandals. Also, actually, this is something that I should point out. If you, the, how you will know that these sandals are too big is when you're walking, you feel like your toes are really, really gripping the front of the shoe and your foot is somewhat sliding forward. I do not feel like my feet are gripping these sandals, which I really appreciate because that is annoying and no one loves that and no one wants to feel like shoes are gonna fly off their feet. So little tidbit there at the end for sizing. But if you wanna see more handbag reviews, handbag reveals, handbag comparisons, or I've been doing a lot of shoes recently, apparently I'm becoming a shoe person, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week. If you wanna see how I style these shoes or any of my handbags, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, also any questions? Comment down below, DM me. I know I've tried on many, many a pair of Hermes Orons. Okay, thanks guys, bye.